For basic store setup, we go to the Administration Center. Only admins see the Admin button on the menu bar. Uh, I am an admin in this demo for this example, and I'm going to go ahead and click the Admin button to get started. In order to edit my store settings, I'm going to click the Settings button. Now I'm going to scroll down just a splash. The first section of the store settings is quite basic, so I'm just going to go through and show you a few things. The duplicate this store uh, option is in its own video and it's usually after you've already established your first uh, branch store. If you're going to have other stores, you want to first get your initial store super clean and then when you dupe out a store, it clones your store for your south branch and east branch or west side branch, etc. But we're not going to talk about this now. When you first registered, you selected a store type and when you do that, uh, RepairTrax auto-populates certain things such as repair items with uh, standardized information. Um, changing your store type afterwards really doesn't repopulate that. Um, if you've made a mistake and you want to repopulate your store with the correct thing, uh, contact RepairTrax will wipe out your demo uh, free trial and you can re-register with the correct store. Most new registrants are pretty lazy and they don't fill everything in because they don't have to, but we might as well complete a few things here. The time difference setting is pretty important because the servers are located in Colorado and if you're in uh, the East Coast or West Coast, the server time is different than your local time and so by setting the time differences you can have your ticket timestamps uh, coincide with your time zone. Since this store is in Colorado, I'm going to leave it at zero. The store email is the email target for when um, customers respond to your store based off of the automated messaging system. You have the option in a different video um, to select that uh, if a tech is working on a ticket, the customer response goes straight to the tech's email. But for most stores, the incoming messages from a customer are go to a central location. So hence, that's where the store email comes into play. And then if you're going to use PayPal to collect uh, payments, you should enter your PayPal email at this time, and it will then uh, activate the PayPal button on the ticket checkout section. Now all I have to do is hit Submit to Save. So I'm scrolled down a little bit, and I'm going to save. That's it. Basic store setup. You should now uh, go back to the demo area and look at uh, additional store setups so that you can get your store fine-tuned before you start playing with the ticketing system. Have a good day.